I would like a man who's fair, tall and lovely is basically like ordering off a menu. His cousin asked him, do you like the girl? He said, my mum likes her. I'm like, oh, but what about you? Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're gonna be playing with a little bit of makeup. I'm gonna try the new um, NARS bronzing collection and just use a bunch of high-end makeup and skincare. I'm really, really excited and I hope you guys will enjoy this video. I'm also gonna give some of my thoughts on the Indian matchmaking show because I have a few things to say. Okay, I've just done my brows off camera. I actually used the Hourglass um, brow collection. So this is the Arc Brow Sculpt Pencil in the shade Dark Brunette and the Dark Brunette Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. These brow pencils are so good. Literally just did my brows under five minutes and I've carved it out with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm gonna start off with eyes and I'm gonna use some of my Tarte Shape Tape on my lids. I'm gonna use the Lime Crime Venus XL palette today. I'm first gonna grab this shade right here. So the Indian matchmaking show is actually trending on Netflix and I can't lie, it was a little bit addicting to watch. Kind of like a dating show, like an Indian dating show basically. And it kind of goes into like the traditions and like Indian culture when it comes to bringing families together for marriage. It's not necessarily an arranged marriage because I feel like more in an arranged marriage you don't really get a say. Um, whilst here you are introduced to someone that can really suit what you want and what the family wants especially. And you can go basically meet the person and see if you like them. You're not basically forced. So the people that are in this show are not forced to do this. They, they want to meet someone to get married with and obviously please their parents. Parents. their parents play a big role in it um, obviously this is so different to how I've been brought up I'll get more into that later but it was definitely addictive to watch but sometimes I was just like what really all I kept hearing was like I would like a man who's fair tall and lovely basically literally like Seema said it's basically like ordering off a menu. It literally just seemed like they're ordering off a menu. I want this, 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 and this in that person. If they don't, then I'm a bit put off. Oh my God, don't even get me started on Arpana. Arpana is the most pickiest person I've ever seen on TV, which is not a bad thing, because like you are going to spend your whole life with this person, right? Basically needs the man to know the speck of sand that she stepped on when she went on holiday last year. She started talking about the rocks, sand salts in Bolivia, if I don't, if I remember quite correctly, and I'm like, what? So basically, if he doesn't know that, then it's a no, rather than you kind of educating that person on it, because I don't know what it is. And it kind of made me sad as well, like she kind of liked one of the guys, and as soon as he said that I do motivational speaking, and um, I don't really know what to do in life at the moment, I don't know where I'm heading, that was a straight no. And I knew, I knew you could tell off her face as soon as he said that, she was not interested anymore. And again, I don't blame her for wanting someone that is, uh, has that has got a planned future, she's looking forward. But yeah, she was extremely picky. The repetition of a fair, tall, fair and tall, especially if the word fair kept coming up and it just shows how this way of thinking is still quite prominent in, in India, I feel like, and in just Indian households. Uh, I don't know about other, because you know, there's Bengali, there's Pakistani, I don't know how it is in those families or in their culture, but I know for sure in an Indian culture, fair skin is just everything and it's just sad to see that, especially on such a big show. It's not, it wasn't a bad thing, but it just shows how that's all they want over there, it's just fair. Like even mostly all the girls were that were involved were fair. Apart from the last, last girl on the show, which I actually really liked, who owned the the jean, jean denim wear company. Like she was modern, she's like a modern day woman. She has her own business. She's just, you know, do, doing things for herself. I mean, maybe you could say she's a bit more on the darker side, but there weren't really like many rich skin tone girls, which, you know, I feel some type of way about. You know I do. I'm now gonna take this shade here called Botticelli. It's so deep. And I'm just gonna put this just on the outer corners. <clears throat> I 
I'm gonna take some of this shade right here just to help me blend the edges. Oh my god, the other dude that was really annoying me was Akshay. What the hell is going on? You would ask him a question, he would be like, yes, my mom said so. Yes, my mom said I could. If my mom says yes, then I am say yes. If my mom is happy, I am happy. His cousin asked him, do you like the girl? He said, my mom likes her. I'm like, oh, but what about you? I know we, you know, we should do everything we can to please our parents, but this was just on some next level. Like, I feel like if he could find an exact representation of his mom in another woman, he would marry that girl straight off the bat with no hesitation. It was just so funny, like everything, was about his mum and his mum was so intrusive his mum was annoying me so much like I'm not gonna lie I know he's his mum you know but like she was like using her blood pressure as an ultimatum for him to go find a woman the conversation with Akshay and Radhika which I think is who he actually just ended up with was so awkward they went on their date and I just didn't even know where to look like it was so awkward and you know on a serious note what really kind of kind of made me sad was when Ra when he said what do you want to do in five years five or ten years time and she answered i just want to work i just want to be a working woman so it's nothing specific like oh i want to be a doctor i want to work in a hair salon i want to work in something i don't know it was just i want to work because i feel like in that in that world kind of women are are expected to just be at home and look after the kids, do the cleaning, you know, iron the clothes of her man before he goes to work. And she she felt like she had to make it clear that she didn't want that first. And his dumbass reaction was, oh well, who will do the chores my mom does at home? Who will look after the kids? So it kind of shows how the guy has that mentality too. For him, she should be at home taking care of the kids, not working. And she didn't want that. I just saw it that way. Like her instant, it was just such a vague answer. When you're in our culture, in some families, and I'm not saying all, but in some, it's kind of looked bad upon when the woman and the, or the wife wants to go work. And you know, even when you have kids to get a nanny or a babysitter, or whatever you call it, that's badly looked upon. No, she should be at home looking after the kids. I found that bit a bit sad, to be honest. I don't know how it'll work out later on between them but he compared he was like who will do the chores my mom does at home like everything circles back to his mom the hell i feel like in the bed if the mom could sleep between them he would have that also but the conversation between them was so dead i just there's so many things that just made me laugh like their convers especially them two but when she said that phrase like oh i just want to work that kind of made me sad because i'm just like that's the, that's the mentality and that's the mentality a lot of women have to fight against and have to be looked badly upon when they actually do want to be a working woman. Okay, now that I have like the edges blend out, I'm going to use this new NARS Power Chrome Loose Eye Pigment, I can't speak today, in the shade Shockham. This is what it looks like and it's like a chunky, flaky glitter. Not glitter, but like a metallic shade and it's so beautiful. It's like this champagne shade. Finger. It kind of broke, which I'm so guided about. And I'm just gonna put this in the middle. Gosh, this color is so pretty. So for skincare, I actually got the Look Fantastic Sarah Chapman London box. Now this box is so luxe. So you get like a bunch of skincare products in there and you know I love my skincare. Did you get a whole full set? This box is actually worth £184.50, but you can get it for £65 when you're a subscriber to the Look Fantastic Beauty Box. £70 if you are not subscribed. Even then, like, this is a huge bargain. Like, why wouldn't you want this box? I've heard some good things about this skincare line, so I'm really excited. You even get this. I love these. This thing. This is amazing for your jaw. Oh my god, and it's tight. This is... I, I don't have one that's this tight. <gasps> Yeah, if you guys want to grab this box, which is a huge bargain, I'll leave a link in the info box because their boxes, when, when they do boxes like these, they sell out really quickly. I'm going to use the Morning Facial, which is like an elixir. The packaging is actually really, really nice. So I'm just going to put some... Oh, it's very liquidy. Stop. Oh my God, this smells so... <sighs> I feel like this is something that would sell, like you would smell in Harrods, like that. 
rich musky oil scent i didn't know this would be an oil but it feels nice oh this smells amazing it feels amazing see now that i put that i just want to go like this now gosh that is like that feels so not oh my god i just feel like someone's massaging my face i'll just be back in a few minutes so nice especially because i have a clicking jaw that is so relaxing i'm now going to use some of the sarah chapman comfort cream it's just a rich moisturizer now you also get an overnight facial elixir i can't wait to use that tonight and you also get the ultimate cleanse which i haven't used yet but i'm going to use some of the eye recovery and it just comes as a white cream i like it's not too heavy wow i literally felt spoiled like this is so nice like that would make such a nice gift for someone as well who likes skincare so yeah i definitely recommend this guy off the bat like this feels so luxe i can't wait to use this more but i'm not gonna lie my skin feels so soft right now it's hard to tell with skincare because you use you need to use it for a long time but this just feels so lush and luxe on the skin instantly like you just feel it it smells nice like i've never smelt this scent in skincare before yeah i'm really pleased with that guys i can't forget my spf so i'm going to use the murad city skin age defense which is spf 50 with this right. i should have put this before to be honest but with this it kind of goes a bit of a purpley tint but it goes away after you kind of like blend it in but yeah there's still a little bit of a tint but it's not that bad i love how it feels on the skin i've worn it twice already i'm now going to use my huda beauty silk balm which i've been loving i'm going to go in with my makeup forever ultra hd foundation in the shade y445 it's all over I've never really mentioned this before, but my parents and my mum and my dad were actually kind of put together in that kind of way where two families introduced them and then they kind of liked each other and then got married. Obviously it didn't work out. I'm not saying that they all don't work out when it's done that way. I think my mum did have a choice and they kind of, they, you know, fell for each other. It wasn't a love marriage. It was more like, kind of like introduced to each other. I just feel like if my dad was in my life, I. I definitely would have gone down that route where I would have to marry an Indian man who has like a bachelor's or master's degree who has his dad the CEO of I don't know a big computer tech company out there I know it's so stereotypical but I literally just feel like my life and my sister's life would be, would have been like that we would have we would have been in introduced to um, specific people or we would have been expected to be with an Indian guy who is who has a very high education who has a high paid job i don't know so it just i just can't comprehend how things would actually be if things were different but i'm grateful for how things went along and how i am today and the way i think today i'm a strong independent woman who is so for women working whenever they want we shouldn't just be pushed to the side and just expected to stay at home do the dishes, take care of the kids, and iron our man's clothes, like, no honey, no honey, no, no honey, no. Next, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Sand. I mean, overall, the, the show's interesting, but there's definitely some things that really got me thinking, and I just feel like it needs to change a bit. The whole thing about fair skin, like, kind of annoyed me, to be honest, but it's not, like, it's not their fault that they prefer fairer skin people. That's not it's kind of like instilled in them from their families but everyone has their own preferences but there's, there's, there's definitely a trend in in our culture where fairer skin is most preferred so i feel like if they're gonna do a second season they should definitely put more dark skin people in the show because we know there are indians there are beautiful indian people that are rich in skin tone and i did not see much of that on the show except for maybe in some of the men but definitely not the woman but you know that guy akshay oh my god the pressure he was getting i kind of felt bad for him the pressure his parents were putting on him at the age of 25 he clearly didn't want to get married but he was kind of forced into it but he wasn't showing it like he does to please his mum, but if it really depended on himself then i don't think he would have got married i'm gonna use my laura mercier translucent saying powder just gonna set my under eyes and some parts of my face
Now, I did try to watch Cursed on Netflix and I was so disappointed. Like, I just couldn't watch it. I couldn't. My attention kept just drifting away and I just... I don't get the storyline and it just seems weird. Like, I just... Anyways, I just find it so boring, which is a shame because I really like the actress. Now we're going to move on to the NARS bronzers. I have two shades here. I've got Samoa Matte and Punta Cana. This is the Punta Cana one and I'm thinking I want to go for that. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts. Am I the only one that thought like this? I know I'm not the only one, but did you guys think the same? I'm seeing people's thoughts on the show, on their stories, on Instagram. I know I'm not alone. I'm not mad at that at all. That shade's actually perfect. I'm gonna give the other one to my sister. But that's quite a nice bronzer. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the NARS Orgasm blush. I'm also gonna use the NARS Endless Orgasm palette. This is like a cream highlight palette. And, and I think I'm gonna go with this shade right here. I also received the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara, which is quite new. You guys know I can get a little bit picky when it comes to mascara. Oh, the lift. The lift. I'm just going to let that dry a bit and see if I can put a little bit more. But so far, I really like the length and I think I can get some more volume once I can put another layer. I'm just going to let it sit for a bit. And um, we can move on to lips now. I'm literally like so happy with this base right now. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my matte cork. I'm going to use some of my Dose of Colors Knock On Wood Liquid Lipstick. I love this lip combo, but just to finish off, we're going to use some of the Oil Infused Lip Tint in Laguna by NARS. Oh my god, this lip, this whole lip combo is perfect. Alright guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of chit chat, get ready with me. I'm so happy with this look. I, I think I've kind of found... A new like go to like look at the skin i'm not gonna lie all i can smell right now is the skincare that elixir is so so nice um i'm actually gonna use some of the new glow coco hydrating mist by huda beauty now i've actually gone through my glow recipe watermelon mist um but this kind of reminds me of that it's a very fine mist almost like a skincare mist you can use this to freshen up throughout the day apply right after you're done with your makeup or you can also use it before uh, makeup um it's just a shake bottle the only difference is is that it has this really nice coconut scent um it's very lightweight it just feels really hydrating i i really prefer to use this just on bare skin um or like throughout the day when i'm not wearing any makeup it just feels so nice and refreshing um so i'm just gonna put some of this on all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video the skincare really stood out to me and the bronzer the mascara is good i mean it's not my favorite i definitely prefer the huda beauty legit lashes mascara for sure but it's a good mascara like if you're looking more for length that will definitely give you because instantly that mascara lifts so well i really like the lip topper or lip elixir thing and i also have been loving the huda beauty mist as well so yeah i hope you guys like this look i'm so so happy with the skin obviously we have to do a little bit of close-up so you guys can see if you haven't subscribed already make sure to do so we are trying to reach 200,000 subscribers on this channel by the end of the year so hopefully we can do that and i will see you in my next video bye